Is Wagyu beef worth the price? Wagyu is a breed of cattle that is native to Japan. It is known for having a very high level of marbling, particularly in the steak cuts, the New York strip, the ribeye, and we know that the more fat a piece of meat has, the more flavorful it is, the more tender the meat becomes. What people don't really talk about is how what the animal is being fed impacts the flavor of the fat itself. Uh, there is one farmer in Japan producing olive-fed Wagyu that was rated the top out of all the other products. So by feeding animals a certain diet and having a certain breed of animal, we are able to create this amazing food. Normally in nature, animals store fat around their kidneys, on their belly, in the ribs. Certain parts of the body contain fat on wild animals. What we've actually done is bred these animals to have unnatural amounts of fat deposits in certain muscle tissues. This creates something that our ancestors couldn't really obtain in nature. It's why every single group of hunter-gatherers prized the bone marrow, they prized the fat, they liked the organ meats because these steaks did not exist. What we're going to do today is look at some steaks, taste them, go over if the cost equates to how much better the meat tastes. So these steaks I have specifically were not actually Wagyu. Uh, I was cutting up meat for my meat company to fill some orders and out of the thousands of pounds of meat we cut, this was the only steak that had this much marbling in it. So I don't know if it accidentally slipped in. This is a very unusual occurrence. This has happened one other time in my life. I went to the supermarket and I saw meat that had this much marbling and I was like, oh my God, I have to buy this. So if we actually look at the steak here, you know, it has an insane amount of marbling. You know, this is well above prime. It has a very nice fat cap. And the reason this is yellow, almost orange, is because it's grass fed. And you guys are probably somewhat familiar with how much marbling Wagyu has. And Wagyu can have more fat than there is muscle meat. You know, there can be more white than red. This would certainly rate uh, pretty high on the Wagyu grading scale, but it wouldn't be towards the top of the marbling score, that's for sure. So we have a grass-fed steak that has Wagyu-esque marbling. It's just on that scale of Wagyu marbling. We're somewhere near the middle. You know, there's Wagyu that has less marbling than this. There's Wagyu that has more marbling than this. The reason I am so excited to make this video and show these to you guys is because these might be the best steaks I have ever tried in my life. And one of my goals in the future has always been to, you know, have my own farm. And on that farm, I would like to get these breeds of cattle and raise them on grass to create a product that is uncompromised in both nutrition and flavor. Uh, so I'm going to salt these on both sides and we're going to throw them on the grill. I'm telling you guys, just this fat cap on this steak, it's going to be slamming. <laughs> Some of you guys might be thinking, Frank, why didn't you send these steaks to your customers? And I did. Uh, we had about 15 of these steaks and they were sent out to people who placed very large orders uh, over $500. So if you guys do place large orders, if you guys comment on my YouTube channel. I tend to throw some goodies in here and there uh, on Frankie's Free Range Meat. So I am not keeping it all to myself as much as some of you boys want to believe. I will let you guys know the steak is completely raw. That's how I like it. I know that's not the ideal cooking temperature, but if you guys take a look inside, it's literally a raw piece of meat with just a sear on the outside. That is my uh, favorite way to cook steak. I mean, the first piece here, not too much fat on the outside, but of course, you know, with that level of marbling, plenty on the inside. I mean, the steak is great. It's tender, it falls apart in your mouth. It's much richer because of the fat content. Now, what I wanna actually try is the fat cap, that yellow fat that was on the other steak. This looks really good. That's really crazy. I'm gonna try the 
I'll try the inside of this steak with the fat attached to it. So here's the piece. Really nice marbling, yellow fat on the outside. This might be one of the best fresh steaks I've ever had, but what really takes the flavor to the next level is dry aging the steak. When you dry age the steak, you concentrate the beef flavor more, the fat gets this nutty, funky taste. The fat on this steak, that yellow orange fat, tastes very nutty, almost like butterscotch. This is up there with some of the best tasting fat I've ever had. And this really is an amazing steak, and I would love to have this every day, but I've had many steaks that have tasted better than this. It's not unusual to have the fat of a grass-fed steak taste this good. You know, part of the goal of Frankie's Free Range Meat is to get meat like this to everyone at a reasonably affordable price. But uh, in order to do that, you know, we have to have farmers that understand the pasture management, the breeds, you know, what age to slaughter the animals at. A couple things need to happen. Uh, if you guys are looking to have an experience like this, you could simply buy some grass-fed beef fat and eat it with your steak. I don't think you'd really be missing out on much. Uh, granted, the fat was high quality, you still would be getting that amazing nutty flavor. And just having it with the ribeye steak is as enjoyable. I would say overall, from a percentage standpoint, this type of steak tastes 20 to 30% better than a regular ribeye. I mean, does it warrant paying three to four times as much for it? Not really. I mean, reality is Wagyu is like 10 times as much, 20 times as much as a regular steak. So would I pay 10 times as much for this steak? No. I mean, it's maybe 20, 30% better than the other steaks, but that's how expensive food works. You pay a lot more money for a product that's a bit better. So if you guys are wondering why this is so important because nutrients are contained in the fat. What the animal is fed creates a specific nutrient profile in the fat of the animal. This being of the highest quality. So you could literally just eat these steaks and you'd be getting more nutrients than 99.9% .9 of America is getting in a day. If you guys would like to check out our selection, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have several steak packs available as well as a fat pack. We're looking to add a bunch of products in the future, guys. Uh, we've recently added pastured pork. Uh, definitely check out that video last week if you haven't seen it yet. We want to do things like raw dairy, uh, grain-free, soy-free eggs. Uh, the more support we get initially, the more orders we get, uh, the sooner we will be able to do these things. Uh, so is Wagyu worth it? In my opinion, not really. Uh, maybe it's something to experience on a birthday or an anniversary, a special occasion, uh, just to try it out. But you might be surprised that you don't really like it too much. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, uh, you can check out some of the other videos on my channel. Uh, I've also recently launched Frankie's Naturals, a minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. So go to frankiesnaturals.com if you want to look like a Roman statue.